So I got this life-size Michael Jordan cutout here. Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Rob Chesapeake Picker here. Welcome to the channel. I'm a part-time reseller based here out of Virginia. If you like content like that, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel below. Doesn't cost you anything. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers and uh, your help would be much appreciated. Um, I got a bunch of stuff that is going out. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at some stuff that's sold. Sorry to pack this up. Uh, I got this at a garage sale for like a buck. Um, I thought it would go for more. I've had it up for a while, uh, but you know, it is what it is. It's a, it's a cassette tape um, box. You know, those wood grain ones that you see everywhere. You can't find this stuff anymore. I've had good luck with cassette stuff. Um, I had this up for a 50% off sale and it sold for $7.50 plus shipping. And uh, this is going out with uh, the post office. I actually had this listed as UPS ground originally, but it came out cheaper to go USPS, just under 10 bucks. So shipping out that way. I got this Norfolk Tides head. I put it up and it sold pretty much right away. Um, Norfolk Tides, if you guys are not regular viewers to this channel, um, it's the local baseball team, minor league here. I do pretty well. I find them all the time. I sell them. I don't mind selling hats. I usually pick them up between uh, two and four dollars most of the time about three and uh i don't mind selling them for like fifteen dollars and making quick profits on them if you got the right thing um, the hats are easy just take a few pictures it's a simple box a simple ship they don't come back so pretty happy with that one if you guys watched my last sourcing video i got this nicorette gum at the uh Amazon return store called Cool Bins by here. Um, so I got two bucks into this. It was $2 day and it sold really, really quick. So I probably could have upped the price. Uh, went for $24.99 free shipping. Um, this is just going to go out in a little eight by six or six by four by four box. I'm um, not going to cost much. This might stay four ounces or below. We'll see. I think I definitely underpriced this hat. So it's a Buffalo Bills hat. Really nothing special about it or anything like that, but it is vintage. It's uh, made by Anco. So not a lot of these out there. Uh, sold comps kind of all over the place. Nothing too crazy. Um, I put this up for $15 plus shipping. Again, I bought it for three and it sold within like 10 minutes. So I probably could have gotten 20 to $25 out of it, but it's quick, it's out. And I made some money. Got a couple things of plush going out. I got this uh, Lucy Peanuts plush. Got a ton of these if you guys have been watching the channel. Um, this one's not so desirable, but it sold for $7.99 free shipping. Again, I got 37 cents into it, whatever. And then I got this Bush Gardens duck here. Um, I picked this up at the Goodwill bin, so I really got nothing in here. He doesn't weigh much, so probably a couple cents, if anything. Um, he sold for $5 free shipping on my 50% off sale. I thought he was Donald Duck when I picked him up at first. Um, you know, so it is what it is. It's gone. Over here on the Raphael shelf, I got this uh, Wii Logitech keyboard. Um, it's pretty much in like new condition. Um, got this at a garage sale for a couple bucks. Sold it for $15 plus shipping. Over here in my Spider-Man shelf in this bin, I got this vintage Space Jam t-shirt. It's a women's XL. I picked this up at a thrift store. Um, it sold for $7.49 plus shipping on a 50% off sale that I had. Let's see, down here on the X-Wing shelf, I got, it's a Dell laptop. This is a, a power cord for a laptop. I got this at my big gamer sale. I got this pre-box here. It's just going to go out in a padded flat rate. Uh, sold for fifteen ninety nine uh, with free shipping. And, uh, you know, I don't have much into it because it really just came in a whole bin of stuff. Next up on my Yoda shelf B-bin, I got this uh, Singer. This is like an accessory cartridge from a sewing machine that was broken. Got this at my big gamer garage sale. Sold for twelve ninety nine plus shipping. We're in my Green Arrow shelf. I got this Nintendo Wii Legends of Zelda uh, carrying case. I got this for just a couple bucks at the thrift store. Sold for $12 plus shipping. So I've got this lot of 15 cassette tapes. They're all old country stuff. You know, Mickey Gilly, Tracy Lawrence, Mo Brandy. He sold for $4.99 plus shipping. Next up here, I got this hat. This is a Miami Heat hat. It's got this really cool pink and black and gray camo. Uh, this is a new era uh, adjustable hat. I picked this up for probably about $2.98, sold for $15 plus shipping. Got a DVD here. This is 
Cousins with Ted Danson here. Um, new seal DVD, very rare one. This one sold for $24.99 with free shipping. And then over here, got another one of these Linus plush dolls. This sold for $9.99 free shipping. All right, it is Memorial Day now, um, so just take a moment to recognize all of our fallen soldiers that have fought for this country um, throughout our entire history, and a big uh, thank you to uh, them that have passed, and uh, of course, a big thank you to all that are serving and have, have served. All right, so I'm going to take you through a bunch more stuff that sold this weekend, and then I'm going to go through some stuff that I picked up. Uh, first thing I want to point out, I guess, uh, in my last sourcing video, um, I showed you all those shoes and stuff I picked up at Goodwill. I guess I never told you how much I paid for them. People have, I guess, wildly different prices in different parts of the country. Uh, here, um, for the most part, all shoes are $5.49 and um, boots are $6.49. So all of those shoes I got for just $5.50 a piece, except for a few of them, obviously a little more. Uh, the one that I got them all at, if they have a chance to stick around, they will usually go back and put some higher price tags on stuff after it's been out. Like they'll put them on the shelves. If they don't sell right away, they'll bump up the prices to like 10, 20, 30 bucks. So I got there as they put them all out and that is awesome. And whoever marks them up, I'm glad you were off that day. So with that big shoe buy, um, I was about a hundred dollars all in. I spent $65 at the first Goodwill and then I turned around and spent about $40 at the next Goodwill. I had a 20% off coupon on that one because I'd filled up my stamper. And uh, so all in all, 100 bucks on that, 105 maybe. And uh, yeah, so that's that. First order I got going up is a Facebook Marketplace shipper. It's a pair of shoes out of that big lot. So this is a pair of Johnson & Murphy's. These are a men's size 11, brown and black suede and leather shoes. Um, very excellent condition on these. I'm finding Facebook Marketplace is an awesome place to move shoes, sometimes quicker. I'd only had about 20 views on eBay by the time these sold on Facebook Marketplace in about two hours after listing them for $35 plus ship. Over on Mercari, I got this pair of Merrells. These are a men's size nine and a half. Uh, again, excellent condition on these. Super lightweight to ship out. The, the person had sent me an offer. They wanted a little bit lower. Um, I said I could probably ship them to them a little cheaper outside of there. So they sent me their zip. They're going to Ohio. Uh, it's going to cost about eight bucks. So I just went changed the price to $39 with free shipping instead of $33 plus, And it worked out to about the same. I'm thinking taking a dollar less or whatever. Um, and uh, these are going out. So $39 free ship. And then also on Mercari, I got this pair of uh, Nike Air Men's Copious Sneakers, size 12. Picked these up for $5.49 at Goodwill. They sold for $50 plus shipping. I don't normally pre-box a lot of my stuff uh, just because it's kind of a pain. But one of the things that I do hate is selling shoes uh, just because... You can't fit a whole lot of them in a certain area. They're kind of a pain to shuffle through. I don't want them to get damaged. So with all of these shoes, for the most part, unless they were big boots or something, I have actually pre-boxed all of them and put a little label on them. So that was A7. The one before was uh, B5. And I just go to my shelf. I grab them, throw a label on them, and they're quick out the door. So I'm going to show you two things that I picked up at garage sales yesterday, one of which is already sold. So the first one I got is this uh, Deadpool figure. This is a uh, Amazing Yamaguchi, Gucci, Yamaguchi, uh, super collectible one here. There's a little bit of box damage, but not too bad. And then I also got this Iron Man War Machine. It's like a one six scale figure, still new in the box. Really sweet figure there. All kinds of cool artwork on the back. The guy that I bought these from was some kind of a seller himself. He was making like 3D printed masks and stuff. It was pretty cool. I had a nice little conversation with him there. Um, so he said, make an offer. I knew he knew he didn't have garbage. Um, so I offered him 30 bucks. A little bit high, but I wanted them. This one right here, again, very, very few of these on the market. I put it up for $117 plus shipping. So if I make that off of that, that is definitely going to be worth it. But that guy's not sold yet. But what did sell was this Deadpool figure. So this sold just a few hours after I listed it on Mercari. I had it on eBay and Mercari, but it sold quicker there. Um, $60 plus shipping. So again, I'm $30 invested at this garage sale, and I'm already in the profit off that one item. Pretty hefty so far. All right, so moving on over to eBay, which eBay sales have been a little slow lately. I'm moving a lot of my bigger stuff on Facebook Marketplace and Mercari as of late, but still got some good sales. Um, I got this Norfolk Tides hat. You guys may have seen me sell these. I picked up seven of them for uh, 99 cents or a buck each at Salvation Army. Uh, this They sell for $19.99 with free shipping, and I've only got one left. 
I picked these up at Goodwill. Goodwill, the DVDs are two for five bucks. This is Robin Big uh, Seasons 1 and 2, all complete in there. They are not new, not sealed. Uh, so I got five bucks into them. They sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Got a vinyl record that I got from a buddy here. I have 80 cents into this. This is uh, Carol King Tapestry, and it sold for $24.95 plus shipping. And I got another one of these little plush dolls here. This is uh, Lucy from the Peanuts, $7.99 free ship on that one. So there was a couple of cool looking sales going on this morning. So I went and I headed out. Um, I know I just put out some sourcing videos, but I got to say I'm having a hard time right now. I think I need another device to edit my videos on because my GoPro and stuff like that, it just eats up a ton of memory. And as soon as I do anything with it, my phone is full. So I can't do anything with the GoPro right now. I got a bunch of footage on there, but I don't have the memory to do it. So I think I'm going to possibly upgrade my device soon. And then when I do that, I'll use the old one just for doing YouTube because I'm not quite ready to invest in a camera or anything like that. Um, and my computer, while a new computer is not really set up to handle all that stuff as well, I tried. Um, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to show you guys what I picked up and, uh, when I can, I'll take you on the hunt with me. So I got this life-size Michael Jordan cutout here. This is a 1996, I believe, upper deck thing here. I got this for 15 bucks at a garage sale and this sucker is going to sell. There's only a couple up, only a couple sold. They've all sold. And I got it listed for $199 plus shipping. Very, very good condition on this, other than right here, he's got a little tear, but uh, right there, but I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. So if you guys have been watching this channel for a while, you may have seen me sell a lot of this stuff. It's this plaid gallery glass stuff. Um, a whole bunch of stuff here to make like stained glass windows. I've done pretty well with them from what I picked up at Salvation Army. And this person in one of their photos had just like a whole box of it. And most of it was still new and sealed. She wanted like a hundred bucks for everything there. I didn't really want everything there and I kind of cherry picked stuff out. So I probably got about a hundred bottles of this stuff and I have uh, about 40 bucks into it. I spent a hundred and ten dollars all in at this garage sale. I'm gonna go and throw, show you what I picked up there. So I got all that gallery glass stuff. We're not gonna go through that, it's not exciting, but it is decent sellers. Some of them are um, discontinued colors anymore. It makes them super valuable. So one little two ounce bottle of these, some of them are gonna sell for around 27 bucks, anywhere from uh, 19 to 27, depending on what they are. And then I got a whole big old mess of them that I lotted up. It's like 21 of them for $99.95 plus shipping. So I haven't listed this yet. I've only started to look at comps, but it's this basically varsity jacket. It's from uh, from Vegas at the Hilton. It says on the back, Star Trek, the experience. 10 bucks, I couldn't go wrong. This is a men's size XL. I'm probably thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of 80 to $150 on this, depending on what, it, uh, what the comps are. I looked just preemptively, but it's in excellent condition. I mean, there's no stains, no holes, nothing like that. She said 10 bucks and I was sold. Another Letterman jacket here. This is the one that really caught my eye at first. It's this Jack Skellington. It's from the Disney Store, Nightmare Before Christmas. Again, this is a men's size XL. Not a whole lot of these out there. I'm um, thinking on this, I see a, of several that are listed, only a couple that are sold just like this. I have the only extra large as when I was currently looking. I'm going to put this up probably around 100 and 50 to 180 bucks plus shipping and again 10 bucks into it and um, again it's in excellent condition there is a couple little spots on it here i got some stuff on there i'm thinking i can probably get that out with some oxyclean but all in all i think this was a good pickup nightmare nightmare before christmas stuff sells he remains popular even though that's not my favorite movie if I have to sit on this at a high high tag until uh, after ha around Halloween, I'm cool with that because I know it's going to move. So I got all this cast iron stuff here. I got some skillets and stuff in there. And then down here, I got these little Dutch ovens, a skillet and a bigger Dutch oven. I got these all for 20 bucks. This one alone, the bottom one I got listed for 20, 50, 20. So I should be making a good profit out of all that once it sells. We got these little plush dolls. This is uh, Sam and Dean from uh, Supernatural. I got these listed up for, I think, $35 plus shipping right now. There's uh, really none of these on the market currently. 
got this Buffy the Vampire Slayer figure. This is uh, Spike. He is uh, in pretty good condition overall. A uh, couple little dings there, but I don't think that's going to hurt its value too bad. Got this Doctor Who TARDIS wall light. Still new in the box. Little ding there. But again, there's very, very few of these out there. I got this set for about 33 bucks. All right, guys. Hope you had a good, safe holiday weekend. Thanks for checking out the channel. I appreciate it as always. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. It really helps me out. Pushing towards that 1,000 subscribers. That is the goal. I would like to get there by... Uh, Hopefully July. It is almost, it's June and what, tomorrow? I'd love it if I could get there by July. I appreciate your guys' help with that. Thank you very much. If you got any questions, comments, drop them in the box. I'll get to them in the future. See you guys in the next